Yeah. I mean, you've got to open up, this has got to be an open up the door. I mean, in regards to, you know, you talk about your Paddy Mills and your, you know, your Jesse Williams in America. Yeah. This has got to be exciting for you. Yeah, look, it's, um, it's great to see those, those boys getting over there and, you know, representing our culture. And, uh, yeah, look, it's, it's, you know, we're branching out all over the world now, so, yeah, it's really good. So, you know, you've, uh, you know, you put yourselves on a pedestal here to be able to get our mob involved in something that's, you know, totally not us. When I, when I say us, I mean, who would have thought there'd be black fellas skating around on ice, you know, yeah. over that way, hey? Yeah. Apart from those ponds that are frozen, you know, yeah. in, the, in the mountains. Um, my name is Dylan Matson. I'm 17 years old and I come from the Naranjuri mob up near Swan Ridge. I got involved in the ice hockey program through my school. They said oh, I'll come out and have a trial for Ice Factor, so I did and I went out for two sessions and I loved it. My name is Josh Kelly, I'm 18 and I'm Pitinjara. Um, I first got involved in ice hockey when, I don't know, they just started sending all the kids that were mucking up really onto the Ice Factor program to try and straighten them out and it just went from there. Uh, my name is Stacey Pratt. I'm 19 years of age and I'm from the Good Nidjmara, which is in Warrnambool, Victoria. When I first started, I couldn't skate at all. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about the sport. Like, I didn't, I haven't watched any games from them. Like, but once, um, yeah, I got, like, got used to it, got the hang of it. Um, I just started, all my confidence just like built up and I just kept going for it. I played ice hockey for about a year and seven months now and loved every bit of it, so. I started off um, in playing the position of like, I was a centre for a bit and then I went to wing and then I played defence as well just for that term just to test out where I was going and then I eventually graduated onto the goalie because we really needed one and I thought I'd give it a go, you know. So. From not knowing from anything about the sport, like not even one rule of the sport, to now like knowing the concept of the sport, like scoring goals, like um, becoming a, the captain of like the team, like the school team. When I first started, I was sort of all over the place a bit. Like, yeah, so they were just sticking me wherever they could, and now I'm just the centre. Like, I just keep me in the centre because I just, I don't know. I, I've improved like a massive amount being goalie like from when I first started I didn't know anything about it you know I didn't know that I had to learn a butterfly I didn't know that I had to move everything pretty much at the same time you know and it just comes with experience I had a great coach and still do you know have a great support to help me you know eventuate and get better and better each time I try so. My behaviours improved heaps like my, my social behaviour with other people and stuff I'm a lot less like uh, I'm more yeah it's mellowed out and stuff now. It's know how to behave around other people a lot better. I'm not very connected to my um, indigenous culture because my family doesn't have very many ties, you know. We, have, we don't really know much about where we come from or anything, so there's that. But the part that I do, like I feel connected to my Aboriginal thing, my Aboriginal culture, I do a lot of um, work, like school work based around that. And I'd like to be able to learn the cultural ways of the people of, that I'm a member of the mob, you know. I'd like to be able to know how they fished and how, how they just live their everyday life, you know. Like my family, They've never really been big on the culture because my nan is like, like part of the stolen generation. She's out with an adopted family like from when she was younger. So I'm big on the family, but not so much the culture. I still keep in contact with all my family and stuff. But yeah, it's like a different family to where the culture's from, if you know what I mean. You don't really see many um, Indigenous students. Like You see some of them um, hanging around each other and everything, but they they lead they start to lead to like the wrong life if you know what I mean but um you know with this with this program they've brought kids together and they just stick to the right path. Uh, it's kept me focused on something and given me stuff to put my time towards other than stuff yeah I could have been out doing I guess yeah. Yeah it's 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 made it's made us a lot stronger being together as a team you know and a lot of us feel a really big pride just to be able to, you know, say that we're Indigenous and that we play ice hockey. So.
space 